Hey guys, it's me Cleo again. Um, I came back for part two and might as well show you guys um, how I do the dough to make the, the shape of the cookies. And uh, also to explain to you guys that I had to shorten my video because YouTube didn't allow it to be more than 15 minutes. So I'm so sorry that I had to cut it short. But at the end, I'm trying to explain to you guys that if you leave a comment uh, on that video, I was going to do this part. But since I'm already going to do this part already, I'm going to let you guys uh, see how I roll it out and uh, how I put on the, co the cookie cutter and place it on the, on the pan to get baked, okay? And um, in that video, you're going to see in the description box, you're going to see uh, all the ingredients I used and uh, what um, the preheated oven and uh, the 15 minute bake time. OK, so here's my dough from the first video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab of this amount, you know, just eyeball it. I grab this amount and I take it this way and I put it on my working area. I have two sticks, wooden sticks, that are my guides, and these these I you I got them at you can get them at Walmart, um, uh, any any hardware store has these. They sell them. They're they're cheap. They're like 10, 15 cents or a little bit more depending where you live. But I use these to um, give me a guide to my rolling pin. And it's very important to have a flat area. So what I what I use, let me show you real quick, is a Wilton uh, rubber rubber um, uh, mat. And then I add a uh, wax paper on the top. And then I put my wooden sticks. Okay. And it is very important so that the dough doesn't stick to your rolling pin that you use wax paper on top of the sticks with your dough in the middle okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it out to where the sticks stop so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it out for you guys really quick and I just you know let the pin do its job back and forth and you're gonna see right here that it ends where my six are okay so this is your one inch thick cookie you can go thicker it depends how how much thickness you want i know there are some devices out there that give you the inches to the thickness of a cookie but i always do this this uh one inch okay so what i do is i take off the wax paper and i grab my cookie cutter okay I grab my cookie cutter and I, I place it on the dough and I just press it in and then bring it back out and it gives you the shape of, of whatever cookie your cookie cutter you're going to use okay I try to do two at a time sometimes three depending on the size and then all I do is take off the X X excess <laughs> cookie dough sorry guys and um, yeah, that's uh, just it. And then um, you just bring them out real carefully. Don't don't pull them with your hand. Try to pull them with your hand. What you do is you raise you raise the wax paper and you bring it out, okay? And then what we're gonna do real quickly, I'm just gonna show you this. I've already started over here. Is you're just gonna place it on your cookie sheet, okay? And that's all you do, guys. You just put them on here as many as you can fit and um, you put them in your oven for 325 preheated and for 15 minutes and that's it guys that's all you gotta do okay and that will be your sugar cookie and um, like i said if you want to like subscribe to my channel i will be putting up more videos okay guys thank you for watching